Can you hear me? Cool. Uh, I feel sad that I am the one who is stopping you from, you know, having a break and having your lunch. So I'll keep it short. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so the topic that I'm going to talk about is, uh, you know, how brands can build relationship with real Bharat and how they can grow. Uh, essentially, the brands can grow their revenue and all. So, and what gives me that right, right, to come and talk to you guys about this is basically, uh, I am Jani, I'm the co-founder and CEO of Local. Local is a content community and classified platform for uh, users who are new to internet and who prefer, uh, you know, their native languages over English language. So, these people who are using basic Hindi, Tamil, Telugu, ye language be content karna prefer karte. Unke liye hum platform last five years se banare. We are we are building it for the last five years, and that gives us the right to understand about this users and would like to share some very interesting insights of what's happening here. So going to the next slide. So some of these things you all are very trivial. You guys already know, right? Uh, India has the second largest audience online. So we are massive in that way. Only after China, and we are like almost twice of US, right? 900 million audience. But sadly, you can hear like not all of this is translating into digital sales. That is a problem that everyone is trying to solve today. And how we, this internet demography is divided into two users. One is, you know, who are very comfortable with English, prefers English content uh, to consume, to make their purchasing behaviors. And the other is Bharat audience who are comfortable in their native languages. Jolog, in fact, I, until I graduated from IIT Kadakpur, I was preferring my native language because I didn't have to English in English. In my hometown, I'm very comfortable with all my friends. Then I, because of my business and work, I had to switch where I could, you know, get comfortable with English language. So this audience, according to KPMG report in 2021, is growing very rapidly. The non-English speaking users, uh, 9 out of 10 people who are coming on the internet for the first time, are these Bharat users who are comfortable with their native language. And they're, they're almost three times as, you know, English speaking audience. So before, you know, uh, there are some myths that we want to actually burst about this Bharat audience that, you know, Bharat audience uh, means generally it's, they're segmented into ki gaon se hai, ruler India se hai, city mein nahi rehte. It is not true. So, 53% people only stay in non-metros. 47% of Bharat users actually stay in the cities. If you look at your people around you, uh, at least my uncle, auntie, or my neighbors, most of them are not comfortable or they don't prefer their own uh, English language over their native language. They prefer their native language. So this is one big myth that we want to you know, burst. The second part is that Bharat doesn't spend online. Yeah, not as much, but they do. And it is a very promising progress that we are seeing. 46% uh, of the Bharat audience have brought uh, online gadgets and, you know, video subscriptions, you know, with Jio and all. Uh, with Hotstar primarily last before years, they have 27% of Bharat users who are on online have video subscription compared to Indian audience. Offline still rules Bharat. Everyone thinks everything is happening with Bharat, but no, they are changing. Uh, it's, it's a rapid change. When it comes to information consumption or when it comes to news, they are heavily relying on online compared to print or digital, where their social media reliance is much higher than you know print and radio combined. They are very conservative towards payments, which is also not true. 56% uh, of them are using at least twice a week UPI to transact. And this is growing very fast. They do also do investments. But what gives, right? It's three times the audience. Both teen guna hai compared to Indian audience, like English speaking audience. But this is not translating to sales. Today, all the brand buyers are telling it's difficult. The biggest uh, channel of revenue for the biggest companies in India is still not digital. Because you have to deeply understand one, I remember uh, in my second year of college, the first transaction that I made on Flipkart, I was not comfortable giving my credit card. I'm sure you might also not have, right? 
We took that evolution. It was it was in 2011. I I came from that point. तीन सौ रुपये की किताब खरीदनी थी मेरे को डर लग रहा था मेरा डेबिट कार्ड देने मेरे पास क्रेडिट कार्ड नहीं था एंड फ्रॉम दैट पॉइंट टू नाउ आई एम वेरी कंफर्टेबल बाइंग ए वन लाख रुपी प्रोडक्ट ऑन फ्लिपकार्ट आई ट्रस्ट दम इफ इट डजेंट कम टूमोरो इट्स ओके फ्लिपकार्ट विल गिव बैक मी द मनी एमेजॉन विल गिव बैक मी द मनी इट्स एन एवोल्यूशन दैट टूक मी टेन ईयर्स देर इज दिस ट्रस्ट लेयर अवेयरनेस लेयर दैट गॉट बिल्ट ओवर टाइम बाई ऑल दिस प्लेयर्स With Bharat audience, one one of the marketer that I was speaking to, uh, big uh, brand advertising, spending a lot on influencer marketing. He is telling me, Jani, I got like ten, fifteen million spending on an influencer. It, it is not translating to any sales. What can we do? Uh, but they have heard all these trends in China, where a, a very big influencer is driving tens of millions of dollars in a day of sales. what gives is that you know it took us time that 11 12 13 years of time for internet where this english audience are reliant and they are build they are actually making those purchasing decisions online it will also take time for that bharat audience but it not it is not necessary that it requires them itna time nahi lagna chahiye unko and we can all be smart about it and we can all build products uh, we can all build journeys so that it becomes easy for them to make uh, the transaction digitally and it is very very important that the entire economy move towards digital because it gives people choice it gives people convenience it gives people access what does it mean i come from a small town kodad in telangana i remember in 2006 when i was trying to uh, purchase a book for my olympiad i have to wait one month for my uncle to come from hyderabad to bring that book to me but in my hometown with thanks to flipkart and amazon a kid who wants to do well makes that purchase and gets the book in less than 3 days that's the power of internet and we want to give that access and every brand is trying to give that access but the journey is not the same it has to be different because if you take this tier 2 plus audience or bharat audience i wouldn't call them tier 2 plus audience the trust is extremely hyper local that means when i make a purchasing decision on buying a product i would need an awareness mujhe pata hona chahiye product exist karta hai once i get that awareness then i would want to get some sort of trust so what i do i go on google internet try to search for different content read about reviews if it's a significant purchase mujhe mil jata hai i get some trust to it and i will also whatsapp in my friend circle groups and everywhere to understand ki yaar ye product jo hai ye aapne use kiya hai kya kisi ne and if there is a great review brilliant it gets into my consideration and then a purchase if product delivers value it will get to a repeat but think about a bharat user today right what will he do he come he wants to buy a new product or let's say if you have marketed your product to this audience they get to know about it and they want to go online and search about the product they can't read anything everything is in english there is no trust built in that way they can't reach out to your friends to understand about your product because they don't use it you are a new product in the market right and then obviously yahi hoga 10 million log dekhe khareede nahi kam log translate kiye that is the reason why in india in tie to economy trust is hyper local or trust is very central that means that gives the power for tata to launch hundreds of products and be very successful in all the categories because people trust tata or a large brand to do it but for a new brand for someone who is launching a new category it is important for them to be nurtured and built in a way that they get the trust cycle accelerated and some of the brands already started recognizing for it so if you look at zomato and misho the new age brands they have launched their regional apps and have seen zomato has seen 150k orders a month via this regional apps it's just a direct hack they have to just the app in their regional language misho has seen 20% i just spoke to divesh she is telling this number is wrong it is more than 20% now so these brands are making conscious effort because trust for trust to happen you should know that person you should learn about that person and it can happen for this audience in their native language going ahead yeah so similarly there are many stories like bajaj finserve has launched a vernacular application uh, vernacular website and have seen 270% increase in their traffic and hyper local as i told you right if you create 
if you if you plan the journey of that user carefully if you kind of build that relationship to get that user to trust you if you do well the transactions will happen so the switch from india to become a china where the digital transactions are very high or purchases are very high is not far ahead it will happen by brands being very conscious by platforms working with them together and how will the trust be built is also by one being in their language to being on the platforms where there is trust built naturally where the users intent is to not only get entertained is to learn something new is to do some sort of meaningful transaction the chances of you selling your product on flipkart for a relevant search is much higher than you know you showing an ad on facebook or instagram this is because of relevance going ahead so yeah brands are doing crazy stuff this is very great news uh, targeting very hyper local content hyper local cultural nuances to tell about what they are where swiggy has done it with uh they partner with karyuku a popular content platform to tell about the cultural nuance they have done it with aib and then where does local fit into all this and why are we talking about this is because local is a platform uh, that is 5 years old uh, we started in one district uh, in telangana now we are operational in uh, 250 plus districts and what we gen what we do is that we are a platform of trust where anything happening around you uh, you get the access of that very quickly on the platform in your native languages and done by the and that is the content is posted by the community and we have done that so well that we have become a de facto platform where if you get something on whatsapp you go on local to search about it and in the locations where we are present we are at least 5 to 10 times 5 to 6 times in most of the locations bigger than the largest selling newspaper newspapers are the place of trust for this audience so we are present in eight languages today and we are a destination for this users to go for their local needs that means the user today because of we having a critical density of audience are coming to connect with others on the platform where i want to hire someone in my location i post a job i want to get married and 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 trust me it's a local use case entire to or for a bharat audience because they want to get married in the same language or a 100 to 200 km radius because trust is very important right i want to give to my give give my daughter to someone that i can trust right and then people buy real estate or post their listings on our platform and this is all happening in the native language we are doing great so far so we over the last 5 years we have worked with extreme local businesses and people in that community to build uh, this platform where users are relying on us for everything local now we identified this as a problem to accelerate the digital transactions to help this brands because we know this audience the best so we are working with multiple brands i'll just skip this and tell that you know we started working with multiple brands uh, to help them get to that transaction thing to help them make those users aware to help this users transact online the first purchases or first uh, awareness and then retention so yeah uh, we want to be that player that help this brands or that help this bharat user make that transaction easily and we do have that data that someone is trying to apply for a job what is his education qualification someone is trying to get married he posts a profile what is he eating what is his preference what is his salary to someone trying to buy a real estate property what is the affluence level we do all have that data and also a detailed understanding the journey of making this user transacting is not the same journey of a english audience jisko facebook or youtube ka ad dikhaya click karwaya website pe purchase karwaya it has to be carefully nurtured by picking the platforms where you want to advertise by using content as a leverage to make this users educate and aware not only local any platform that you believe is being used by this audience for meaningful interactions is the place that you have to be and uh, we believe this is very very important for the bharat audience to have more options uh and for the entire country to grow very quickly so yeah thank you